Hey guys, so um, this is just a quick little video, the first one on this channel, just an introduction as to who I am, what I do, and why I do it. So, my name is David Lilly, as the channel implies. Um, I am a storm chaser and a photographer. So, some other things I also like that's within weather is doing radar analysis and studying tropical meteorology. Now, the radar analysis part stems from back in 2011 when I tracked the one of the largest tornado outbreaks to ever occur, the 2011 super outbreak. That was on April 27th of 2011 when I was just a 10-year-old little lad. Um, that happened, you know, was obviously that happened a long time ago compared to now, but that was what influenced me to start liking weather more. So I started sticking with that. And now, obviously, here I am uh, storm chasing. Uh, about 10 to, well, actually, 12 years later. So, yeah. And um, the tropical meteorology part stems from my location. I live in eastern North Carolina. Um, I'm right there by the coast where I'm in an area where they call the inner banks of North Carolina. And hurricanes have been a common allergy here. They hit here almost every year. They don't necessarily have to be hurricanes, though. They're, they can be tropical storms, tropical depressions. They all usually hit here at some point or another, and I'm affected in one way or another, whether it's by wind, rain, or tornadoes. Sometimes storm surge can affect me, but it has to be a particularly strong storm to do so. But nonetheless, um, one thing that I want to try to focus on here is there is three things that this channel is going to try to do, and the, none of these things are going to be special. It's not going to be something that you probably haven't seen from another YouTuber who does weather as well. It's just that I'm going to try to combine all those elements into this channel so that, you know, it's a centralized thing. It's not just like I have a, you know, I just do storm chasing and that's it. I want to try to do it for a purpose. So, three things. It is, obviously, I'm going to try to focus on a cinematography approach, on a filmography. You know, try to film videos to be something like what Picos Hank does. So, if you don't know who he is, he is a YouTuber with over a million subscribers. He's a storm chaser who focuses on making his videos a lot like documentaries, like miniature documentaries, and I love the style he does it in. Now, obviously, I don't have that nice Texas drawl to my voice. Obviously, I can't pull it off like he does, but he's a great, a great guy. He's a very good YouTuber, and he's just very skilled. And that's the kind of thing I want to try to do with this channel, is to try to do something similar to that, at least in terms of the filmography approach. Because the channel, I will be posting content pertaining to chases that I have done, and obviously I'll be live streaming the chases too, but at the same time I'll have another camera going that will be recording in higher quality so you can actually see it, because sometimes YouTube might muck it up and you don't see it at all. You might not, it might be a brief tornado there and you don't see it because YouTube just went, Pfft. so that's one thing I'm going to try to do right there. And I'm going to try to do it in a style similar to what he does. Now, I'm not going to copy him exactly, obviously. But I just want to do it in a way that's very similar to what he does. And the next thing I want to try to focus on is data collection. Now, some um, pretty decent YouTubers already do this. Um, now, technically, because they have cycling ports, you can say people like Vince Walty, uh, who's actually a friend of mine, and also along with... Brandon Kopic, another good friend of mine. They're both really good storm chasers as well. Very good friends of mine, Vince especially. And uh, both of them are good, you know, stream. They're very good at streaming what they do, but they also have Cyclone Force, which is this thing implemented with Radar Omega to collect data on a pretty real time, like a, basically a real time account of data, and it's really good. So that's, I want to try to focus on a data collection aspect too. And the other thing is research, but not necessarily me being a researcher, because I am not a degree meteorologist. I'm 21 years old. Um, I did college for a couple of years, and then I just kind of gave up on it because math is not my strong suit. So I gave up on the pursuit of meteorology, at least in a degree sense. And now I'm trying to go for it in the sense of I can go to it, see it with my own eyes, and hopefully you people will also be able to see it as well. You, my great viewers, be able to see it as well. So that's what I want to do. Of course, that's going to require a lot of effort, but hey. All I, all I can say is adapt and overcome. That's all I can say. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Again, me not being a researcher, I can't really do it for research, 
but I can say I'm doing it to give it to others who can use it for research. Or they can use it for, you know, something like, for example, there is a couple of people that come to mind. Um, Mark Southerth from HurricaneTrack.com is a very great example of a guy who does this for data collection. He has um, funded support from Patreon of over about 3,000 people, including myself. And we all pay so that he can, um, you know, get data and, you know, collect it and make his own uh, instruments and customize things so that he can, you know, sit him out in a hurricane and watch it come by and record what he's got to, along with live streaming everything he sees on those cameras. And it's basically like, you know, it's not requiring the need of a man to be there at that place and possibly getting washed away. It's just the cameras are sitting there and they roll for as long as they can. But yeah, that's the one thing I like about what Mark Suttis does is that. He's a great friend of mine. He's actually a bit of a neighbor of mine. He's about two hours away, but he lives in Wilmington, North Carolina. And I'm over here in the eastern half of North Carolina, what they call the inner banks of North Carolina. But yeah, um, while I'm on, him, on the subject of talking about Vince Walty and uh, Brandon Kopic, um, this hat right here, obviously it's Ryan Hall, y'all hat. Um, I do part-time stuff for him in terms of storm chasing. I don't do it as much as, you know, obviously as Brandon or Vince do, but I do work with Ryan as a chaser, and I'm also mostly on the streams, at least, on the back end. I'm, I'm in the back end of the streams. I'm the guy that's helping uh, our good old friend meteorologist Andy Hill out with the radar stuff, the radar analysis um, for seeing if a storm's got tornado debris signature on it or not. I'm usually the one helping him out in the background. I'm one of the uh, the few, or the several, I think now, the several expert weather analysts in the server, um, in the group as well, and I'm one of the part-time meteorologists. So, yeah, that's what I do, and that's why I wear this hat a lot, because I work with the guy. Um, obviously, I gotta give him a little bit of a shout-out. He's helping me out, too, so, there you go. But getting back to the main topic, um, yeah, I want to try to focus on a research aspect to the streams, as well as a kind of an educational. Obviously, I'm not going to sit there and just try to be quiet the whole stream. I'm going to try to, if people have questions, and I can answer them for them. Now, if you're going to ask me what the equation is for the vorticity, I can't help you out there. Don't, don't ask me for equations on vorticity, on streamlined vorticity. I don't know nothing about it. The best I can do is refer you to someone who might. That's about the best I can do. Otherwise, if you have questions, just asking like, you know, uh, is... Like, what the what could the effects be here in Panama City Beach during Hurricane, uh, the, like, Isaiah or something like that? Just just a random name. Uh, I can help you out possibly with that. Um, that's about it, though. Now, don't ask me about forecasting where you live. I, again, I'm not a meteorologist. I don't have experience with forecasting. Anything that's really outside the, the, the realms of severe weather or tropical weather. So, I can't necessarily help you out there. But what can help you out is your local National Weather Service. If you're just wanting to know what the weather is, if you want to know more about the severe weather possibilities, you would go to your Storm Prediction Center. Uh, the Storm Prediction Center has a very great website for, you know, they're the ones in charge of issuing the outlooks that are based for severe weather and also for fire weather. So if you're looking for fire weather stuff, that's another place to look at as well. The other place you would look at, at least for hurricanes, is obviously the National Hurricane Center. They're the ones in charge of forecasting hurricanes within the Atlantic, East Pacific, and also they have the CPHC, which is a little bit of a branch of them for the Central Pacific, but that's not really in our market here. I'm not going to be flying all the way to Hilo, Hawaii for it, so. But either way, the main focus of this uh, is just to say that I want to try to do things that combines my favorite and influential chasers, because Vince Walty is a very great friend of mine. Um, I've met him during a chase I did last year in Hurricane Ida. I met him along with Brandon Kopic. Brandon and I didn't talk as much, but Vince was there the whole time helping me out and everything, giving me tips and all that. So I think of him as a great guy. So me and Vince are good friends on that. And if there's one person I definitely shout out as a, as a YouTuber, it is him. Definitely Vince Walty. Um, and also, like I said... Um, Mark Suddeth at HurricaneTrack.com, and obviously, um, <laughs> I, almost got the wrong, I almost said the wrong name, Josh Morgerman, uh, obviously, they're very great people as well, doing the research they do, 
And I'm just trying to emulate them because, you know, they, I mean, they always say that imitation is the best form of flattery, but I'm not necessarily trying to imitate what their work is. I'm just trying to find a way to streamline my channel to have all of that kind of elements on one channel. Because I feel like that's one thing they could do. Because Vince and Brandon, like I said, they do have their cyclone ports, but they're not necessarily tuned for the data. The opposite is the, tr is the truth with Mark Suddeth and Josh Morgerman. Josh Morgerman is good for chasing hurricanes, but he's not really a severe weather guy. Um, Mark Suddeth is trying to branch out to do so too, but it's hard to do so because, you know, severe weather is so short-fused compared to hurricanes. So... Like I said, I'm not bashing them in any way. I'm very grateful they do what they do. They are they're, they're heroes in their own rights. So, again, um, that basically sums up this video. If you guys do have any questions, comments, or concerns that you would like to share with me, whether it's about you know an idea you have for the channel, some questions you have to me, myself, things of that, of that sort, please do write it down there in the comments below. And don't, don't forget to hit the like button. Get this video shared, get it so as many people can see this and see that we're trying to build a new channel, a new thing here. And also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well, obviously, to check out more content that will be coming up here shortly. It is currently July 16th, so hurricane season is about to come upon us. So once that hits up and once we do that, that's where the content will start coming out. And I will hopefully see you guys next time at a storm so thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys do enjoy the channel